Okay. We're back in the shop. And I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about alternative wood carving woods. You don't always have to use basswood. Uh, if you're like me and you kind of live out in the rural areas of your uh, county and uh, you are a minimum 50 miles from any major city, sometimes without mail ordering, it is a, a challenge to find wood carving wood. But what I do have right down the road for me is a Lowe's Home Improvement Store. And at Lowe's Home Improvement Store, they sell, if I didn't cut, I cut the end of it off. They sell Aspen. Uh, I believe it's Colorado Aspen. It's a really, really white wood, if you see. And if I can get it close enough, y'all can see the grain runs a lot like basswood. It's really light. It's really super easy to carve. It, it's very, very similar to uh, Aspen. I mean, to basswood is very very similar to basswood and what I do is I laminate it what I do and this is just rough done I put the glue to it squeeze it with some C clamps and just let it ooze out you're gonna carve all of this away but what I do is uh, create these and it's three quarter and three quarter you stick them together it makes inch and a half by inch and a half square now this one is a one by three which is really three quarter by two and three quarter and what I did with it is I'm creating a larger eight inch tall character and this is how I lay my characters off just like Pete LeClaire does when he carves from scratch um I do have a uh, I invested in a nice bandsaw so I do cut my profiles a lot of times from the uh, bandsaw but this guy right here was done 100% with a knife. So I don't always use the band saws. Um, this one right here is that same three quarter by three quarter. Makes an inch and a half by inch and a half block. And that's what he come from. This one's a little bit taller. This was only a four inch block. This one's I think a five inch block. So just to, and this, this little I ain't figured out if he's kind of a hillbilly wizard or what is this I just went to work and that's what I come up with but uh every one of these are done out of aspen wood every one of them um I have basswood but uh kind of hard for me to get to it sometimes so I try to incorporate some of this as well and it carves good let me grab a knife and I can show you Hang on, I'll be right back. Okay. I can show you that when you cut this, that glue line just about disappears. Can y'all see that glue line? Yeah, you can see the glue line. But after, after you get enough of it, away if y'all couldn't see this right here you wouldn't be able to see that glue line that's how tight it is uh, i use type bond three which is the waterproof version and as you can see when you paint him let me get over here in the camera when you paint him you cannot see a glue line anywhere that's the same in the back of the jacket that is not a glue line and you can buy an eight foot stick of inch and a half like this for under five dollars and cut an eight foot stick in half, it's four foot, glue it together, you've got inch and a half by inch and a half by four for four dollars. Um, you cut them into six inch blocks. Well, my six inch blocks are buried. But I've been, I, I did six inch blocks for a long time, but I uh, started going to just doing 12 inch blocks and then just cutting it off as I want to. Sometimes I'll do a little three inch project, like, this guy out of it sometimes i'll do a six inch character out of it sometimes i'll do five sometimes i'll do four um this little guy he started out he's just a little old uh seaman fisherman 
But he started out as uh, Arlene over at Carver's Woodshop, put up some tutorials on how to do a shorty Santa. And that's what this guy started out as. He was going to be a shorty Santa, but I messed up his hat and uh, just took it off and figured the, uh, the hat shape looked very reminiscent of a seaman, so that's what I've done. So Arlene, if you're out there, those pictures I was sending you on private message, this is the finished product. Uh, I'm going to get back to it. Just can't get my I guess I just can't get my mind right right now to, to do a uh, uh, Santa Claus. It being the end of July and it's hot. It is hot out here in the shop, y'all. I got my fan turned off so it doesn't interfere. But at any rate, I hope this guy this helps you guys. I know it's helped me tremendously. Um, I've got probably 85 cents of wood and just a little bit of glue. And I, I've had the C-clamps for forever invested in this guy. About 85 cents. And it carves amazingly well. You will be very, very surprised at how good Aspen carves once you put your knife to it. Anyhow, I hope that helps you guys. Y'all take care. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.